I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question from my student. We need to apply factor theorem and factor the polynomial 6x cubed minus x square minus 9x minus 10. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now possible factors could be factors of 10 divided by factors of 6. So let me make a list of possible numbers to try, right? So, so the possible factors are factors of 10, which are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, and plus minus 10. Now, others are factors of 10 divided by factors of 6. So we could have the list continued as plus minus 1 over six factors as one three two and six right so half right so and then we have uh, plus minus one over three plus minus one over six correct now with two also we could add this list so two over two is one so we get have plus minus two over three and uh, 2 over 6 gives you 1 over 3 which is already covered and then we could have plus minus 5 over 2 plus minus 5 over 3 plus minus 5 over 6 and then we could have uh, 10 over 2 which is 5 10 over 3 plus minus 10 over 3 and uh, 10 over 6 is 5 over Three, which is already covered. So these are all the possible combinations. Now working with so many numbers become very difficult. So what we will do here is we'll try to move in a sequence, right? So let's say, let's check the positive answers first. So let's find the value of the polynomial for one, right? So let's say one. So when you plug in one, what do you get? What I'm trying to say here is we'll just plug in 1. So 6 times 1 cube minus 1 square minus 9 times 1 minus 10 is equal to what? Right? So it is 6 minus 1. And these negative numbers, uh, negative 10, 19, and this negative 20 will give us negative 14 as our answer. So we get a negative number, right? So let's now plug in 2 and find the answer. Now onwards, what we are going to do is we'll just plug in the numbers and calculate the result. So we'll do 6 within brackets 2 whole cube minus, I mean, okay, minus, oh, so Likewise, let's calculate for 2 now. That is 6 times 2 cube minus 2 square minus 9 times 2 minus 10 is equal to what? So we have 6 times 2 cube minus 2 square minus 9 times 2 minus 10 is equal to 16. So we have the answer plus 16. Now that means that between 1 and 2 there should be a 0, right? So between 1 and 2 there should be 0. We cross from negative to positive, correct? So this is the time when we should check for fractions. So we are looking for a value between 1 and 2. So, so it could be for example, we could try 5 over 2, 5 over 3, 5 over 6, kind of like this. It seems to be somewhere right in the middle, right? So let's try these numbers and let me try 5 out of 3, right? So we'll now try the value of the polynomial for 5 out of 3. It is less than 2, right? So that is 6 times 5 out of 3 whole cube minus 5 out of 3 whole square minus 9 times 5 out of 3 minus 10 equals to how much? So, so let's get back to the equation. Instead of 
uh, this we have within bracket 5 over 3 now 5 divided by 3 that is the cube thing and then the square is within bracket 5 over 3 and uh, we'll take away 9 times within bracket 5 divided by 3 right and let's check the answer we get 0 right so so a question may be very difficult however if you approach in systematic way you can actually easily get the value right you could have tried 5 over 2 first and then 5 over 3 so one more chance for you perfect now once you get a factor we know it's a cubic equation we can do long division or synthetic division to get our result so let me do long division now we'll divide 6x cube minus x square minus 9x minus 10 by the factor 5 over 3 that really means it is 3x minus 5 correct so that makes 5 over 3 as your root so you're taking care of the first two terms we'll multiply by 2x squares so we get 6x cubed minus 10x squared so when you take away you get 9x squared minus 9x so 3 times 3 is 9 so we get 3x so that gives you I mean 9x squared minus 15x and this gives you if you take away that from here uh, 15 take away 9 you get a positive number and that is 6 x and bring down minus 10 that is plus 2 so plus 2 gives us 6 x minus 10 the remainder is 0 right? so we get a quadratic equation 2 x square minus 3 x plus 2 so we could at this stage write our function which is 6 x cube minus x square minus 9 x minus 10 as equal to 3 x minus 5 times 2x square minus 3x plus 2. Now we could do product and sum. 2 times 2 is positive 4 and we are looking for sum to be negative 3 or which is not possible right. So so that is our final answer. So we can write down our answer as 3x minus 5 times 2x square minus 3x plus 2. So I hope you understand and appreciate that even when we have a lot of possibilities if you systematically try within four or five tries you should be getting the answer i hope that helps and give you some confidence feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best